25 year career going so far. I just completed my 25th year in January. A little bit about that, I was a police officer for 11 years, nine months, up in the Bronx. Really enjoyed it up there. I got promoted to sergeant. I did three years over in the ninth precinct in the Lower East Side. Um, very nice place to work, really enjoyed it. Um, it was very eye-opening. Uh, very much of a different community than I was used to working in the, uh, ninth, in the uh, 43rd precinct as a cop. And then I was promoted to lieutenant, and I spent four years over in uh, Queens in the 105 precinct. And um, again, that was nice. And being that I come from Long Island, you would think it was my favorite place to work, but it wasn't. Um, it was very nice, very different, but I made captain six years and three months ago, or actually four months ago now. Um, my first 14 months I spent in the housing bureau over in PSA 9 in Queens. The next 22 months, because I did such a nice job in PSA 9, they put me back in the Bronx and I felt like I was back in my home away from home. Uh, I did 22 months there. I was an impact captain up there, um, up in the Bronx. And I said, really, really nice. I was used to the Bronx. And then they gave me a promotion, which not in rank, but at, obviously in stature. They made me from an executive officer to a commanding officer. And for the last three years and four months, I was the commanding officer over at PSA 1, and uh, which covers all of Brooklyn South. In that location, I was responsible for six commands, 19 developments. Um, it was very challenging for the mere fact to sit there and try to differ with all different communities, all different types of issues, um, different types of crime for the most part. Again, it was a unique place to work. But I have to say this, uh, when I was told that I was coming to the 6-9, uh, and I was really, really happy um, for the mere fact that like two of my developments that I covered in PSA 1 were located in the 6-9, Bayview and the Brook Ellen Houses. And with that, as I said, like being that I covered in six commands with my phone, I always stayed in touch with all of the problems that were going on in all of these precincts. So I look at it this way. They put me in the 6-9 precinct, and now I have one precinct to take care of. A couple of developments <laughs> to take care of. And I have to tell you, my wife was like, you don't seem nervous. I said, it, to me, it feels like my workload was cut in three quarters. Um, being, well, you know what it is? It, 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 you're right, but as I said, I'm really looking forward to it. As I said, you know, command conditions, command issues, and things like that, I basically have the same amount of personnel here in the 6-9 that I had in PSA 1. PSA 1, again, I covered six different locations. Here, when I was addressing one of my roll calls um, last week, and I looked on the floor for the, uh, the Daytona platoon, I must have had 20 officers standing in front of me. In PSA 1, being that we covered in all these different locations, I had a satellite in the 7-6, which had about 30 cops up there, I had a, a high-tech police room in Brookline that had about 20 officers there. I was used to addressing maybe, on a great day, 10 people. On an average day, six or seven people. So to see all these officers in front of you, I'm like, wow, we're gonna do a really nice job and we have a lot of personnel. And I have to tell you, I've only been here now for eight days, but Inspector Mamara did a great job with the 6-9 precinct. Oh, he's a big man. I'm looking to fill big shoes. And they said, if I put my feet together like this, I might get into one of his. <laughs> but what I'm going to say is I do have one of my friends in, from Bayview, Miss Whiteside, and I think she would back me up on this. And I know um, Carolyn. Carolyn Walton, I didn't see her here, but um, being that I work directly for them, uh, I'm really tremendously into the community. Uh, it's something that I really, really enjoy, and it's the one of the things that I really enjoyed within this rank as being a captain. Because for six years and four months, this is now the fourth location that I've had the luxury to work in and for different people. And uh, I'll tell you, it's extremely hard to leave people that I have served for the last three years and four months. I have my phone. I do keep in touch with everybody. All I ask you to do is please give us a good chance at the 69th precinct. And you know, I base a lot of the success that I had as a commanding officer in PSA 1 on direct interaction with the residents of my community. When I go 
go to a meeting, I will say things and I will stop and I'll ask for any issues. And when you I have. You can do that at the person council. Yes, which, yeah, I, which yeah. I will do. But sometimes people are very quiet. But I, would, but I won't leave the floor. I see that. But I, I wouldn't leave the floor until I got some questions. I don't want to get killed tonight because I don't have any kind of a gun or anything like that with me. But again, I want to say thank you very much for welcoming me, and it's a pleasure to be here, and I can't wait to meet everybody.